Well, this morning I woke up to overcast skies and I decided to try a second capture of the Nike shoe that I did yesterday. Um, what I'm going to show here is uh, using Polycam's uh, photogrammetry mode, you make sure you um, switch over to the movie mode. And as you move around the object, it will sense that you've changed position and give you a little bit of haptic feedback. Um, this is actually sped up twice here, so it's going to go pretty quickly. But I try to go around 360 uh, front view, then kind of like tilt it up a little bit higher. And then I'll also tilt it below. And then you'll see here in a second, I actually uh, then turn the shoe upside down to capture the sole. And this capture came out surprisingly a lot better than yesterday's where I didn't have any um, anomalies uh, between the, the sole and the, uh, the upper part. So that was kind of a useful um, thing that I was able to achieve with this second capture. Um, this will end abruptly here and then go into my narration, um, exporting this over to Maya. So basically I just save this to the cloud I use Dropbox and then um, we'll pick it up in the next part of this video. Cloud service, I use Dropbox and um, unpacked it. And here we go. We've got the OBJ file with a bunch of textures. All I really need is the albedo and the normal. So what I did was I imported those into Maya. And let's go full screen here. This is the first shoe. And here's the second shoe. So the first shoe, I'll show really quickly here. Um, I was getting um, some imperfections on the bottom and I had to cut away some polygons and didn't clean that up from the original scan. But the new one surprisingly came out really well uh, when I used object masking in Polycam. So this one actually had no issues um, on the edges. It came out pretty nicely. The only issue, two issues were was there's a little bit of misalignment right here in the map, which is kind of bugging me. I wish I could figure out how to get that to work. And then obviously in the inside here, I didn't get the best capture and it doesn't know how to resolve um, on either one of these. And that's about it. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, the shader network is really simple. I'll just pop this up here. It's basically, you just set the, uh, make sure you set your normal to tangent space when you drag it on. And one uh, very crucial thing that I've been for a while, you have to unlock normals on the geometry. So go over to your um, what is it? mesh display and unlock normals. Otherwise, it has like a, a kind of a weird specular look to it. But once that's all figured out, it works. And I, so I dropped one of my other um, little characters in here just to kind of get a, a fun little render. And if we go back to, let me go back to my four view here. And I was using the uh, renderer, our old renderer, preview render here. You see how, how nicely this updates. And I've got a uh, set up a little uh, expression here so that I can move my locator and the uh, measure node. The distance is affecting my depth of field. And I've got a optics. Uh, Optics, uh, NVIDIA's optics denoiser going, so it, it is resolving pretty quickly here. But yeah, this is like looking pretty cool. I mean, it's down and dirty, but you can get a quick scan out of your iPhone, not using LiDAR, just using the pure photogrammetry. Um, I'm hoping that at some point we'll be able to have the photogrammetry be calculated on the phone or iPad Pro because it's got the M1 chip in it. But yeah, it's it's looking pretty pretty cool. I mean, this will hold up for like a, a nice wide shot or medium shot. Uh, if you're not going to scrutinize it too much, you can totally use this. Um, and then also, I'll show you really quickly. Let's pause that, and we'll drag over the uh, the sketch fab. So I just posted this as well. I'll, I'll include this as well, and you guys can download this um, model for free. I just made it available to download. So. I added a couple of annotations here just to play around with that. If you guys are not using SketchFab, you really need to. It's amazing to be able to host your 3D models. And it's really fun to, to light them and do some post-processing. And it really just shines. Um, this is one of my other really amazing captures. I did this a couple months ago, and this one came out really well. But as you can see, the power of the photogrammetry uh, capture, this is using Apple's 
uh, photogrammetry API through uh, Polycam AI. So it's pretty amazing. It's getting it's getting closer. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. This one also came out really nice. This was a, a golden mine I found when we were last time we were up in Cambria. There was a ton of construction equipment right around the corner from us, so I went out and shot a ton of it and put these on. Look down, these came out really nice. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Sketchfab. Being able to pop these on and get some really nice looks. So definitely check that out. But uh, I encourage you to check out Polycam AI. It works really well.